I'm going to show you guys CS2 settings that you need to have to level up your game. I'm going to go through binds, audio settings, graphic settings, and some secret settings that you guys don't know about. So make sure you guys watch the whole video and look at all the tips and the settings that I have. And I'll have links down in the descriptions for some of the stuff I talk about. But before I get into this video, if you want any cool outdoor clothing, just like the one I have on here, very comfortable for gaming as well, make sure you guys check out the sponsor of this video. Take note. Techno is an independent clothing and goods brand that focuses on creating gear that can be used for any situation. While they focus on making clothes inspired by the outdoors, I love wearing them while I stream because they're super comfortable. I personally love the mountain hoodie and the corduroy overshirt they sent me because both are 100% cotton, heavyweight, and made to last forever. So if you want the gear that you can wear in any situation, head over to TakeNoteGoods.co and use code LOUIS15 at checkout for 15% off. The first setting is a team mute bind. I call this a clutch bind because it mutes everyone that is talking in game. And it's very easy to find under keyboard mouse, you go to communications and options. And then obviously under the communications options, it is the very last section here it is the temporarily disable incoming chat and i call this the clutch key because it mutes everyone on your team so if you're in a 1v1 or a 1v2 and someone's just yapping about like they have a degree from yappington university you can go ahead and just mute them and focus on the clutch so i guarantee just find an easy key here as you can see even it says a clutch key in quotation so valve even knows what i'm talking about but i do really recommend this so you guys can focus on your game and move past all those guys that just want to talk and backseat game the second setting that you guys should change is an audio setting. If you go under your audio settings under EQ profile, you want to change it to smooth. The reason is it helps lower the high frequency sounds. So things like flashbangs or like maybe you shooting your AK, it lowers the sound a little bit. And I know a lot of Counter-Strike players play with a really high volume like myself. So having this on smooth just helps all those high pitch audios and the very loud noises is quiet down a little bit. And hopefully it can help your ears because I know a lot of Counter-Strike players, they suffer from ringing in the ears because they just play at such high volume and things like grenades flashbangs and a lot of shooting can definitely really trigger those eardrums and and make your ears ring once you're done playing so when you change this to smooth it actually helps that so if you are having trouble hearing even outside of the game or maybe in game because you have to turn your audio so high i would really recommend using the smooth eq profile the next setting that you need is your net graph. So in CSGO, the old net graph used to be kind of towards the bottom of your screen, but they've actually moved it and almost made it more simplified. It's really good to see your frames and your ping, and you can also see your packet loss as well. So in order to turn this command on, you obviously just go to your settings command. You want to go to the game tab and scroll all the way to the bottom. And under show frame time and FPS, you want to select this to always. Now you can also do it so if you are lagging or getting high ping or some packet loss, you can have it show up if the conditions are poor so if you think it is distracting but you really want to know what you know maybe your fps is or what your ping is or your packet loss you can always have it on when it's poor so then you can kind of be notified and turn on exit lag or whatever it needs to be but i do highly recommend this i always have it on just to make sure that i'm always good to go and then i can even see if i need to run a benchmark or change any settings in my game if i am kind of lagging or i might have to tell my brother to get off the internet because he's downloading fortnite and Obviously, my ping's too high, and I can't wide swing like I want to. So I really recommend this setting. Always have it on. So I moved my camera over for this setting that you need because obviously it's involving the mini map. And this is very important because if you watch my mini map, it actually zooms in. So I will put the commands down below for this mini map zoom bind and I'll also flash them on the screen. If you just want to pause the video, that's also fine. But having a mini map zoom bind is important because let's say that jungle might be smoked off. In order for me to really walk through this and know where I am, I can actually zoom in my mini map and I can just look at my mini map while in the smoke and I know exactly where I am. This is very important for maps like, you know, maybe overpass with all the tunnels that there is and like bathrooms and everything. Even, I would even say Mirage, like you have B apps, you have connector, like let's say, you know, there's just some random con smoke here and you want to make sure that you're going where you want to go so obviously you would zoom in like i want to scale on the right wall i know where i am and then i can jump up so this is a very important setting that you definitely need to have and again i'll put the commands down in the description and you can put it in your config or you can just paste it in the game but this is something that will definitely help you in your games and outplay your opponents more than always the next bind that you need is a crosshair bind. As you can see, I can switch in between my crosshairs, and this is something that Elyse does, and he's pretty much known for. The first time I ever saw anyone doing this was Tarek. He would have a deagle crosshair that he would use a certain crosshair that he would use the deagle. So I know Elyse, in certain situations, he will kind of switch his crosshair. So like, let's say this could be my tapping crosshair if I know I'm fighting. 
you know, at a long range, I can switch crosshair. Or maybe, you know, this is like my pistol crosshair that I have just set. I know a lot of people switch their crosshairs, and I think it's good to have them bound, actually. And some people even perform differently with different crosshairs for, like, pistols and deagles, etc. So I think it's really good if you just have a couple crosshairs bound through, like, you know, your minus, your plus sign, your zero, your nine. Like, the keys up there that are kind of harder to reach and you can't fat finger. I think it's really perfect because, you know, let's say... I'm coming out A, right? And I have this crosshair and I'm in spawn. And I'm like, man, like I really wish I had a smaller crosshair because I think I could one tap him easier. easier. So then I would just hit this bind here. I would just swing out A ramp and I'll just one tap Nico playing on the A site and I would just kill him just like that. So I think it's really important to just have some different crosshairs for different, you know, fights because in all honesty, I don't know if I would want to fight someone long range with this big crosshair because it'd be kind of harder to see their head. So it's probably good that I have this one bound anyways, right? So I think it would, you know, obviously go the same for you guys because the lower level players tend to use bigger crosshairs. So if you guys want, I can link Elijah's crosshair down below in the description. You can just copy some of, some of his commands and then you can put them in your own config. One of the best commands that can actually help you with your gameplay mechanics, which is spraying, is the draw tracers command. So if you do draw or r underscore draw tracers set to true what this does it actually shows tracers when you shoot so if i go ahead and spray here you can see that you can see my tracers coming out of my gun and it's actually easier to track your bullets i know some players like yakinder don't like to have his tracers on but i think this actually helps me a lot just like guiding where my bullets are going and it makes it a lot easier to spray so if you're someone that struggles with spraying make sure you guys turn this command on because i guarantee your spray will improve by 100 percent so one setting that you need to make sure you don't even have to change but it's your sensitivity you want to make sure that your sensitivity is comfortable with what you're using i know a lot of people switch a lot some people like high sense some people like low sense but you want to make sure your sensitivity is perfect so if you do struggle with sensitivity i would just hop in like an aimbots map or maybe deathmatch and just dm until it feels comfortable and then just stick to that sense some days your sensitivity might feel higher some days it might feel lower and that just happens like today on my stream my sense felt really slow when I started the day, but I didn't change it. I grinded out two pugs and then it felt like normal again and I was back to playing like my normal self. So don't feel discouraged if your settings ever feel weird. I would never worry about it. Don't change anything because you want to stay consistent. Finding your sensitivity, there's a lot of guides out there on the internet. I'm just telling you guys to never change it and make sure you find something that you're comfortable with. Now the last setting is the graphic settings. You can see I'm getting around 300 frames in CS2 right now. So I'm going to show you guys my advanced graphic settings. If you guys want to copy these, if you think they might help you, make sure you guys just copy these right here. I mean, I don't know if these are the best. They could be the best. They could not be. But this is what I use. I get pretty decent frames on it and I stream on these staying around 300 FPS. So if you guys are struggling with frames, go ahead and copy these or just look up an FPS guide that, you know, people like Nard out here or Kojomo have released. So I really recommend watching those. But that's all the tips I have for you guys. So if you did like the content, make sure you subscribe, like and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.